within our own solar system. Scientists know all weather starts with one thing, heat. Heat is a catalyst that creates winds. And there are winds on other planets unlike anything Mother Earth has ever seen. Scientists have learned to expect the unexpected when it comes to weather in space. Sometimes winds become storms, like tornadoes. And galactic tornadoes are unpredictable and behave in rather weird ways. Recently, a tornado of epic proportions was discovered in space. This space tornado is a herbic Harrow object created by winds as the result of a forming star. A herbic Harrow object is a glowing cloud of gas produced when a high-speed jet of gas smashes into surrounding, essentially, stationary gas. So this high-speed jet heats the stationary gas and causes it to glow. This object would easily be number one on the list of wildest tornadoes in the universe, except for one important fact. It's not actually a tornado. Its shape is very suggestive of a tornado. It has this helical shape to it that looks like it is twisting along, but it's actually not a rotating object like a tornado. Unlike a tornado on Earth, where a vortex of wind creates a conical shape, this tornado is created by magnetic forces, creating a wake of cosmic dust and particles. This one appears to have sort of a spiral shape within it. And that's really kind of weird, because most of the others really don't have the spiral pattern. But the cause of the spin is probably different from that of a tornado on Earth. Number two on the galactic tornado, Limars's answer to a planetary tornado. Dust storms on Mars are pretty cool. There are thousands of local storms that occur every Mars year, meaning dust clouds that are opaque and maybe tens to hundreds of miles across and a few miles tall. Often referred to as the red planet, Mars is a dusty and dismal place. Its surface is covered by sand. Apparently, there is no liquid water on the surface. And in this dusty terrain, when the sun rises, trouble starts. Dust devils can be hundreds of yards wide and a half mile or more tall, spinning 70 miles an hour across the surface. And they have similarities to Earth's own tornadoes. As far as the basic forces inside a dust devil, they're pretty similar to in a tornado. They're both thin vortices that rotate and are low pressure centers. Yet a tornado is much, much stronger, often by an order of magnitude in wind speed. The power of a tornado is undeniable. And scientists at Iowa State University can't seem to get enough of these violent storms. Here, they have built the largest tornado simulator in the world to understand vortex formation. Understanding the power of a tornado on the small scale here might lead scientists to understand these beasts on a grander or even galactic scale. Scientists use dry ice and packing peanuts to observe vortex behavior. 
There's a six feet diameter fan on top of me, as you can see, which produces the suction and the flow goes up and comes through the outer duct and it's rotating and then the flow converges to the center and again goes up. And as it's going up, it produces the vortex of a certain size, which we can control. Combined, these elements perfectly mimic the formation of a vortex as it swells from its base and grows to a funnel. Scientists know that just like tornadoes on Earth, dust devils form from the ground up. <laughs> 